distribution centers can also provide a number of value-added services. They can create assortments or kits by combining individual products such as all the tools you'll need to wallpaper your house. Often they will have inventories of canned goods with no labels. Once an order is received, the distribution center can add any label desired by the store. This is often called private branding. Distribution centers also process returns. For example, defective computer equipment is returned to the distribution center. It is then taken to a firm that separates repairable and non-repairable items. The non-repairable items are dumped into a grinder that separates all of the different recyclable materials. The repairable items are repaired and sold as reconditioned units. In some instances, the distribution center can be asked to perform quality assurance testing on inbound production items. In one case, a center tests automobile wiring before making it available to the manufacturer. Some firms contract with the distribution center and UPS to handle warranty work for them. For example, if your printer is defective, a call to the manufacturer will have a reconditioned product delivered by UPS the next morning. You unpack the reconditioned printer, put your defective printer in the same box, and call UPS to pick up the box the next day. The manufacturer supplies all shipping labels and makes arrangements with the carrier to pay all shipping charges. Sometimes distribution centers handle high security items like narcotics, high value items, or hazardous material. In these cases, high security systems have to be provided, and in some instances, special arrangements made for the incineration or disposal of returned items. Distribution is a highly specialized professional area, and it requires unique skills that have to be taught and learned. It also requires an understanding of what customers value, how to obtain products, how to transport them, and how to make sure that the right product gets to the right customer at the right time, in the right place, in the right condition, and at the right price. It requires the development and use of a very sophisticated information system. It requires the use of many and often very unique processes. It requires the use of very unique communication, forecasting, and materials handling technology. Lastly, it requires that the professional be as comfortable working in any part of the world as they are right here at home, because they truly do bring products from all over the world to the customer's doorstep. <laughs>